Oh, not as soon as I press play, Jail. <laughs> I mean record. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today to do a Fenty review for you. I actually already have thoughts and opinions on this product because I wore it yesterday for a long period of lovely time. And so I already know how I feel about it, but I didn't record. So, chat, hold on there. So the other day I was on the Sephora website and I had actually purchased the Eavesdrop, what is it called, chat? Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. And I ordered the shade 20 just based on looks, okay? <laughs> I looked at it and I said, this looks like it's gonna be my shade, honey. So I purchased that one and then it came and I was looking at it and I was like, this looks a little light. But because it's a skin tint, multiple people can use it and get away with it. And so it's not really supposed to be some heavy duty full coverage foundation. But because I felt like it was a little bit on the light side, I went to Sephora and I picked up the next shade, which is 21. And I find that between the two shades, it's a big jump. And then even between 20 to 22, it's a huge jump. So like I can't use 22 because it's way too dark. And 21 is like on the cusp of being maybe too dark, but I'm not sure yet because I haven't used it on my actual face. I'm in Canada, so the Skin tint here is $39. So in total, I've spent $80 on two of these. Packaging is standard, it's whatever. Don't nobody care about packaging at this point in life. I remember we used to obsess about packaging. Girl, it's whatever. <laughs> the bottles are plastic. They have like a frost to them, so you're not seeing the true colors when you look at this. But even when I put these together, you can see there's a drastic change. <laughs> this one is very much golden. This one is supposedly more neutral. In the other Fenty foundations, I do like a 410, 385, and I used to use 420, but I found that it was too dark for me, so, or it turned really orange after a while. 20 and 21 are the two shades that I'm going to be able to get away with. Once again, I'm filming in daylight, so hopefully the lighting is on point. There's a little bit of shade going on right now. Hopefully we'll make it through. I'm gonna hop on the Sephora website real quick and see what they're promising with this foundation. So in the what it is section, it says it's a lightweight, buildable, light to medium coverage skin tint that leaves skin looking blurred and smooth in flexible shades for all. It comes in 25 shades. I'll be honest, because we're so used to Fenty having a plethora of shades. I have to say that the shades are giving drugstore. <laughs> like the amount of shades are giving drugstore. I feel like there's a lot more of the lighter shades this time around. Some people may argue that, but I feel like with the other drops I've been able to, like I'm, I'm stretching from the threes to the fours, in the, or the 300s to the 400s in the other shades. And I understand this is half of what they usually would put out. So obviously we are expecting there to be less shades. I hope that these are so versatile that it doesn't matter if you are the last shade in Fenty or the first shade in Fenty, you'll be able to find your skin tint. But I will say that when I put in my information on the shade finder, they weren't able to choose a shade for me, which was a little frustrating. So I had to just wing it, which I'm usually good at anyway. So that's neither here nor there. Anyway, coverage is light, finish is natural, formulation is liquid, it's free of parabens and phthalates, it is vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. And it says what else you need to know is that this is an easy to apply, flexible skin tint Rihanna wanted to create. It quickly and visibly evens out your complexion with a blurred effect. The Hydro Blend Complex and Humidity, Sweat, and Transfer Resistant Formula has a smooth texture that layers well with primer and skincare. For me, this is not a first impressions video because I actually got to test out the foundation yesterday. I'm okay. I had it on for hours and I will let you know at the end of the video how it held up. Because it's a skin tint for primer, I'm using the matte primer instead of the regular Fenty primer. Simply because I'm going to be using the What It Do finishing spray. So for me, I like to mix, I like to mix finishes. Instead of using all matte products, because I don't want to be dry, I'll use a hydrating 
primer, a matte foundation, and then matte setting spray. By the end of the day, I don't feel like a bag of bones. <laughs> Because I'm using the skin tan, I'm not going to use the regular primer because I don't want to be too oily or greasy at the end of the day in the T-zone. Now because it is a skin tint, I know that I need to do some extra work <laughs> to cover my dark circles. I'm not just going to throw the skin tint on and leave. That's not my MO, you know. I'm not trying to do that. So I'm going to apply my regular products. I may even apply them a little bit heavier than normal because of the products that I'm using today. So this is 20. And oh, one thing I guess I can say is that the shades are versatile because the girl that was helping me at Sephora, she was a different ethnicity than me, but she said that she was using the same color I was using yesterday. And this is the other shade. So if I zoom, you can see how I can get away with both. But this one is definitely more neutral. This one is more golden. I'm going to go with the neutral one today because I already tested out 20 yesterday. So I'm going to go with 21 today. Now for $40, <laughs> I mean, I better only need one shade. I shouldn't want to have to mix shades together to get my shade. That's too much money. So one thing I have to mention is that I do not recommend applying this skin tint with your beauty blender. It didn't work for me yesterday. Um, this is comparable to the Dior foundation and also to the MAC. Uh, what's that foundation called? Studio Fix? No. Oh my gosh. I don't remember what that foundation's called. I have it. But you know the liquidy, the girl. Let me just put this foundation on because y'all are like, okay lady, when are you going to apply the damn foundation? <laughs> so I am going to be using a stippling brush to apply. And you can obviously use more as you need it. I'll definitely be needing more. The sun is like not even giving me the daylight I need right now. In the past I've mentioned this, I always measure if my foundation is a light coverage, medium coverage, or full coverage based on my moles or my beauty marks. And I can see all of them very clearly. They are not covered in foundation at all. So this I would definitely agree with. It's a very light coverage. So it's a perfect foundation or a skin tint for summer. You don't want to be sweating your makeup off in the summertime. Your only goal is to look cute, girl. You don't need to be, you know, doing the most. Now I'm just going to apply my matchstick in truffle. No, sorry, espresso. I actually was going to do this first, the way Priscilla Ono had done it on her um, Instagram with her model. But I forgot. And before applying, I had actually warmed it up on the back of my hand. And then to blend it, I'm going to take the same brush that I used to apply the actual foundation itself. And I'm just going to work that into the skin. Because, again, we're going for a more natural kind of um, face today. natural who's she don't even know her all up in my hair like because lord knows and i actually am obsessed with the way that these two products work together because matchsticks came out with the first launch so it's nice that they can work with this product as well so I still have a little bit of hyperpigmentation going on since being pregnant. So that's why I wanted to try both shades of 20 and 21. Because it's getting warmer outside and I'm probably going to have a tan in the summer. I think 21 will probably be the shade I use more often. But then once winter rolls around and I start to look a little bit more pale then I will use 20 again.
my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45. So I'm actually using my NARS stick to apply it because I don't have my brush with me. Yesterday I was using this concealer and I was like, oh shoot, I forgot that it dries really quickly. So you gotta, you can't be applying all of what you need right away. You gotta work in sections. Now this might give me a little bit of a different look than I had yesterday because I had on the other shade yesterday. So it blended in a little bit nicer into the lighter shade. I really feel like they need to be expressing the um, <laughs> the shopping etiquette at Sephora because I walked in there and I was going to swatch the color like I would normally swatch the color but I haven't been shopping in over a year <laughs> and I'm not used to the COVID protocols so I was in there and I picked up the shade and I took the top off and the girl came out of nowhere like friggin a bat out of hell. <laughs> And she was like, um, do you need help with anything? Like, you know, that kind of talk. You can swatch a color, but it can't be on the skin. So let me get somebody to help you. They should have signs up that say, do not touch, do not swatch, do not, and maybe they do and I missed it. Or they should have people standing at every station, but that's a lot of money to be paying these employees, honey. I guess they're just going to keep popping up like a bat out of hell. So a girl came and she was showing me the colors on like a palette. But to me it was silly because I had already touched the foundation. Like I already picked it up, picked up the bottle, you know. And the girl put it back. She didn't sanitize it, okay. She don't know where my hands have been. Lucky for her, I sanitize every five seconds. <laughs> so there's that on that. But yeah, I had no idea that you're not allowed to like swatch how you used to it's not like we're freaking putting stuff on our mouths but i get it and again there are definitely people who do swatch on their mouths which is just nasty just disgusting like no so today my wear test will obviously just be in the house but um i already know how the foundation holds up and i know how it holds up under a mask as well so I will share that with you by the end of the video because that's really our main concern these days. Is it going to last under a mask? Is it? And if it's not, then we're just going to throw it in the trash. You know what I mean? There's no point in having a foundation in 2021 that does not survive mask wearing. Because in Canada, those little face shields that people be wearing on like Real Housewives, those are not legal here. They're not considered a legal face covering. We have to actually wear a mask. You can wear a mask and a shield. And I guess if you have a respiratory issue, you can wear the shield. You pretty much are stuck wearing a mask regardless, so. Oh Lord, this man just texted me and told me we are going into full 100% lockdown as of tomorrow. I am over COVID-19, I'm over it. Cancel COVID. C cancel it like literally that's the text that I just got can you see that like really it's just so ghetto I am so over it like bye get a freaking grip now because I really want to test out or I want to show you guys the product I think I shouldn't set it with anything but Fenty. So I purchased the Pro Filter foundation and I'm going to set my face with it. This is what I used yesterday as well. And I just applied it all over. I just thought of something. I should have probably, well, it's not really realistic, but I should have probably set half of my face with powder and left the other half to see how the product holds up if you don't set it. So I may do a part two on this video because I actually kind of want to know what's going to happen if I don't set the foundation. <laughs> but it's really not realistic because I am not going to not set my foundation. It's just not a thing. And then to contour, I'm going to use the Sunstalker Bronzer in Coconati the shade I usually wear. What a friend we have in dreams of all my and griefs to bear. 
What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Okay. We look shit cute. So, well, mine is the hair situation, girl, because the hair situation is another situation for another day. Okay, I, had, I gotta go fix that. Had some highlighter. Because, you know, if you're going for a dewy look, you don't want to skip out on the highlighter. That's for sure. And the highlight complements the skin so much. This is Superb by MAC. I cannot believe we're going into full lockdown. Oh, I can believe it, but like, I'm just annoyed. Because every time they lock us down, it do, it's not doing anything for anybody. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's like, okay, so the definition of insanity. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> this is like, the government is actually mentally ill at, at this point we have to say that because hency the lockdowns are doing absolutely f all for us period granted we ain't as bad as some other countries but it's not doing it's not giving like it's it's not so i don't know why we keep trying to lock down things and talking about some essential services only It's crazy. It's absolute and utter foolishness. Granted, I don't mind staying home because, you know, I just don't mind staying home. Ain't nothing else to do anyway. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, I did it again. These are not the same. Should I vlog during lockdown this time? <laughs> Should I vlog every day until the lockdown's over? Let me Google and see how many days they're gonna lock us in for. I mean, it is what it is, girl. The wings are what they are. Throw some lashes on it and it's like, how are they gonna know? <laughs> how are they going to know? So I, I'll be back, okay? I'm going to go throw some lashes on. I'm gonna fix my hair and we're gonna come and talk. The light is leaving. So now I can give you guys my final thoughts on the Fenty Ease drop. <clears throat> okay, so now I can give you guys my final thoughts on the Fenty Ease drop blurring skin tint. First and foremost, I actually am obsessed with it. <laughs> So I know that I said it's giving drugstore the shade range, but the truth of the matter is I can wear this shade, which is 20, or I can wear this shade, which is 21. I personally believe that they need to come down a little bit on the price point only because I'm in Canada and I have to spend $39. I'm not sure how much it retails for USD, let me check. So it's $29.50 on the Fenty website and, and $29.50 um, USD to Canadian dollars is $37.03. So I guess they just rounded it up to $39 and the dollar does change every day. But that's neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is I'd rather pay, I would be more comfortable paying the $29 if it was Canadian dollars versus paying $39. I think that's a little bit much for a foundation that's not full coverage. Yes, it's a quality product. Yes, I'm sure, you know, they have to include other things in the price, but personally $39 is just a little bit too high for a skin tint. In my personal humble opinion, okay? Now, I don't work at the Fenty headquarters, so I don't get to say how much they sell their product for, <laughs> but I'm buying it, so I think they should come down a bit on the price. Is my skin blurred? Did it do everything it promised to do? Absolutely. We are obsessed. We're, we have no complaints about it, other than the fact that I don't feel like it works well with a beauty blender. And in all honesty, most products that are this liquidy don't. The beauty blender, even if it's wet, tends to soak up the product instead of applying it evenly on the skin. So whenever you're using a product like this, you wanna use either your hands 
or a stippling brush something that's not going to absorb the product too much i used a stippling brush like this to apply the foundation and i use this for majority of my face this is an old brush i have it's from bh cosmetics very inexpensive you can get a stippling brush anywhere you could even use the elf version that you can get at the drugstore doesn't matter what brand of brush you use i think that applying it you definitely need that one or the other one i'm going to insert a video of how my face looked at the end of the day because i had done my makeup at 11 o'clock in the morning and i was taking it off around 12 so I wore the foundation for over 12 hours and I looked great at the end of the day and bonus it's it held up under my mask so I have a lot of issues with my nose because my nose tends to sweat and I have a lot of issues with makeup coming off of my nose throughout the day because I'm sweating but I find that no matter which Fenty foundation I wear I don't have that issue and this is no exception to that so I love 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 that this is not coming off under the mask I had a few errands to run yesterday and every time I come back into the car I do remove my mask it says on the Sephora website that this doesn't transfer blah 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 but I personally don't believe that there's no foundations that don't transfer. <laughs> I don't believe it. Until I wear this without setting it, then we will see. But because it could be something else that I'm wearing that transfers into the mask. But personally, there was makeup inside my mask, but it didn't look like makeup had to come off my face, if you understand what I'm saying. Would I purchase this again? I would say so. I would say that if I run out, in the summertime I'll probably purchase this before I purchase another foundation just because I don't like to wear a lot of foundation in the summertime I sweat a lot from my head so I don't need heavy foundation heavy concealer in the summertime it's not a thing for me I don't like it I don't love it I don't want to do it I don't want to deal with it <laughs> so I would definitely pick this up again if I was comparing it to the Dior foundation or the Mac foundation that is similar in consistency let me check those prices well the Dior one I'm pretty sure it's in the 50s so we're gonna knock that one out we're gonna say this would be purchased over the Dior one for sure if they still open child is MAC cosmetics still a thing they changed this whole website oh my god face and body oh my god I used to kill face and body um okay so the MAC face and body is actually $47 Canadian so in terms of price I mean Fenty actually is it's better price than the face and body. However, hold on, let me see how many mil. Okay, so you get 32 milliliters of this. $38 face and body, you get, you get 50 milliliters. So 50 milliliters for $38 is definitely better than 32 milliliters for $39. So actually, the face and body is a better bang for your buck but the difference between this and the mac foundation is that this actually has more shades <laughs> so i don't know i feel like <sighs> fenty has more shades but you get less product and it costs more money it's not like it costs a whole lot more it's literally a dollar <laughs> difference but you're getting what 15 more milliliters in the is it 15 18 you're getting 18 more milliliters of product in the MAC face and body versus the 32 ounces or 32 uh, milliliters that you're getting in the Fenty. So it's really a tough call. It really depends on what you like and what you want to buy and if they have your shade at MAC and if they have your shade at Fenty. Other than that though, I mean look at the <laughs> Look at the face, honey. She is giving. She is serving. <laughs> she is loving this skin tint. Like, I literally look flawless. Let me take a photo. So I guess at the end of the day, it comes down to would I recommend this product? I think I would recommend this product. I really don't have an issue with how it performed. So there's nothing other than the price that I think needs to change about the product. And they could add a few more shades. You know, maybe like we could have like 30, you know, maybe they added like five more shades. But obviously these are not designed to be full coverage so shade 20 can probably work for five different skin tones and maybe that's just how they've designed it why they didn't need to put out as many shades for the skin tint but i definitely feel like there's a 
drastic changes from 2021 and 22 and some of the lighter shades as well let me know in the comments below if you guys are picking up this foundation if you've already picked it up if you're waiting for me to tell y'all how to feel about it <laughs> let me know how you guys feel about the foundation in the comments below i will definitely see you in the next one